Hello and welcome to Scan the Course Pro Tip video series. In this video we're going to explain how to check and adjust if necessary the squareness of the back gauge on a guillotine cutter. Most cutters will have something along the same principle as the one we have here right from the small little cutters right up to the big hydraulic cutters they'll all have a way of adjusting the back gauge so that the back gauge sits parallel to the knife so that you get a square cut on your sheets so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of paper and we're going to open the hood of our nice cutter here and we're going to put a paper in the middle we're going to not put it to the left or to the right but in the middle and I've got a check mark here that I've already put on this sheet. I've got a check mark there. It shows me which corner of the paper, uh, how the paper was oriented in here, so that when I go to my next step of uh, comparing the ends of the paper, I know how my paper was laying. I know whether the end is bigger or little or smaller, if there is a difference. I know which end it is. So I'm going to close my lid here. Now I'm going to do a cut. You can't see the cut because this nice cutter with the new lid on it here has got our uh, safety covering on it. But I'm going to do a cut here. And I'm going to pick this up. Now you can see that this here has been cut. Now I'm going to take this paper out and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to compare the width of the ends. Now you can see on this corner here and on this corner here you can see that those are exactly even. So this cutter has the back gauge sitting square but supposing you had a paper that was sitting like this. I'm going to exaggerate it a bit but this side over here was even and this side was sitting like this. It's sticking out past. Then I know that the side with the check mark on is longer. So in essence that back gauge is not sitting square. That's this piece back here. So we're just going to come around back. That's this piece here and in essence it is not sitting square. So this side if it was the scenario that I just showed you would be farther back than this side. Now to adjust the square of a back gauge if you need it you'll need a wrench to loosen this center bolt here. Do not undo it. Just crack it loose so that it's just uh, barely, fing uh, just a little bit past finger tight. And then there will be set screws or bolts of some sort, one on each side. And what you have to do, they are, there's one here and there's one here, and they are centering set screws. They go in against a center block and the set screw, you can adjust the set screws in or out, which in effect pushes the back gauge this way or that way. So if I wanted to make this side over here shorter, I would have to turn this set screw in farther. So it went in farther and the same amount on this set screw, I would have to back it out. Now, a word of caution, adjusting these set screws an eighth of a turn could easily make two or three millimeters of difference over on this outside end. So this adjustment on this is very finite. It's very minimal to make a fair bit of change on this. But I would just, uh, if I had to do this one tighter to pull the back gauge like this, I would just take this guy here first and I would just crack him loose. Just crack him loose. There, cracked them loose a little bit, and then I would sit here and I would tighten this one up just a little bit, and then I would tighten this guy back up here and tighten him back up. I have hardly moved it at all. I would do that very gently. Then I would go right back and I'd do the exact same kind of a square test where I put my sheet in the middle of the sheet, in the middle of the cutter, and do a cut test. And I would do this procedure until I have a paper that folds with the two ends exactly the same distance. Then 
remember to completely tighten up this center hold down bolt. And that is how you can check and adjust if necessary the way that the back gauge alignment is in relation to the blade on a guillotine cutter. Thank you for watching.